Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video we're going to have a look at one of the new features in DaVinci Resolve 18. We're going to have a look into the depth map. And the depth map is one of the new and extremely cool tools in DaVinci Resolve. And I believe we can make some pretty cool and awesome effect using this new tool. But before we get to that, uh, if you want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get right into this tutorial. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 18 with this super cool effect, the depth map. Just, just one thing to keep in mind is that the depth map are a studio only feature. So this is maybe one of the reasons you should get the studio version after all. Uh, it is super cool. So let's just jump right into it. So I have this clip of this girl walking here and I want to do a text behind her. Um, so she's passing in front of the text. And of course, for this effect, we're going to use the depth map. And we're going to set this effect up as well. So I'll just go over to effects and I'll go to titles. So I'm just going to take a regular text note, put that down here and uh, let's just write something else. Let's just write hello. And then I'm just going to size the text up quite a bit. And I'll go into the settings and I'm just going to Let's say something like that. I'm going to put in a keyframe in the position like that, and then I'll go forward. And it's going to be a little bit movement, of course, because of the way I set this up. And of course, I didn't track anything as well. So let's see. But again, this is just a super quick tutorial. If you want the text to be extremely, extremely uh, steady, you could tr track it and stuff like that. Oh, something like that. Okay, so now we have a text, more or less the same spot, more or less. But for the sake of the tutorial, that's how it's going to be. Okay. So we might as well, since we are doing this, uh, just put in a drop shadow, something like that, just to make the text stand out just a little bit. Take out down the blur a little bit, and then perhaps something with the opacity, something like that. That's all we're going to do with about this. So let's get to the depth map. So first off, I'm going to take my clip here and I'm going to push the option or, or alt, and I'm just going to drag. I'm going to do a copy of this because the copy is going to, we're going to isolate the girl here. So first off, I'll go up to the open effects and under the resolve FX refine, we have the depth map. And I'm going to put this on the clip and um, then I'll go up to the inspector and into the effects. So per default, the depth math is already set to better. And um, even though DaVinci Resolve 18 is out of beta, this is still a pretty um, slow effect. So to make things a little bit faster, we are just going to make this faster. So first off, how does this actually work? So the, um, the if we go, actually, if we toggle off the map preview here, we can see that it's uh, not doing what we want yet. However, the idea is that the black parts of our image is the background and the white parts are the foreground. So we're going to start to make this look a lot better. So let's go into the adjustment of the map levels. And in the far limit, we're going to move that. Something like that. So now we can see we are kind of isolating 
her away from the background again if i take up the depth mapping area you can see what we're doing still it's not all good because it's it needs to be a um, a solid white to actually make the decision that that the white is going to be the foreground so let's go into the nail limit here and we're going to bump that up quite a bit and we could something like that so let's have a look now so now we are getting somewhere now we are actually isolating her from the text which is exactly what we want however we can make this better again if we go into isolation here i'm going to toggle that up and then we have the target depth i'm going to start by pushing this toward here so the idea is to get the point where it's the most white and then we also have a tolerance where we can make it a little more white as well and if we wanted to go all crazy we could go down to the map finesse and we can actually make it way more uh, details if we have hair and stuff like that but I think for this shot it's not going to do that well but we can we can try it something like that expand exposure something like that let's have a look here how that looks so again this is a super slow effect and we can now um, see there is some issues here and again we can go in and in this thing i think we'll go to the isolation and we're going to isolate this a little more also to the far limit we're going to do a little like that at the near limit something like that so again after making some tweaks we have now this effect and um you can see here of course this is a rendered out effect but i think it turned out pretty well considering how long time it would actually take one person to do an effect like this by rotoscoping a person out anyway i do hope you found this little video useful if you did please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.